Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to make a Raspberry Pi Pico based oscilloscope and display on the smartphone screen. So let's get started. So here, uh, first we need to boot the Pico with uh, our system or the computer. Now we have pressed the boot button, then plug the USB cable to the system so that it will show as a storage device in the computer system. And uh, for that, here we have to copy this UF to file which will i provide in the description just uh, copy this file and paste in the storage device of the pico this way the pico will boot and uh, it will blink the led on the given pico bolt that means the pico is uh, properly booted so first uh, we need to connect the 112 master at uh, gp26 pin so the using of this 100 conversor just uh, protect from high voltage like uh, if we check at uh, 5 volt or 10 volt uh, logic signals so for that uh, the 100 conversor is necessary and here uh, one camera register at 3.3 uh, volt and uh, ground is used with the common point to provide uh, the ground reference pin of this pico to which we can measure the negative and uh, positive cycle of the both signal now we can also test uh, without 100 km if we testing under 3.3 volt logic so that uh, there is no problem with this pico now we connect the usb cable with uh, otg to the smartphone and uh, now this way the pico will be powered and also send uh, data of the signal to the smartphone and uh, we will see all the information on the app which is the scope pi from the google play store i will also give in the link of this app in the description now we will set the connection type so in this case i am uh, using the usb version if your uh, pico has a wi-fi connection so that you can also choose the wi-fi this way you can uh, use uh, wirelessly now uh, in this case here the gp22 pin which is the by default uh, testing pin so that we can uh, test the uh, this oscillo so at which point uh, the signal of uh, 1 kilohertz with 50% uh, duty cycle is by default coming so that we can test uh, the oscilloscope is working or not so as you can see it's uh, working perfectly and uh, the duty cycle 50 percent and uh, the uh, frequency is uh, one kilohertz now we will check the other modules like i have a 12 volt pdm control module for the inverter which uh, you can see this based on the sg3525 ic and uh, i have a uh, part the module with 12 volt power supply and uh, now i will connect the signal input pin of the pico to this pdm control output pin now we can see the signal is coming on the screen so first we have to find the signal so as you can see it's uh, showing almost 50 20 20 kilohertz signal coming at uh, this case now the duty cycle is also 50 percent now we will adjust the frequency so that we can see the working and the maximum supported uh, frequency of this oscilloscope is uh, up to 110 kilohertz and the waveform can be shown properly with up to 80 or 90 kilohertz so as you can see the waveform is uh, properly showing that's a square wave and uh, you can see at uh, 90 kilohertz the signal of uh, the waveform is like uh, it's uh, interfering so that uh, means it cannot measure at uh, above so that's uh, today's video of this oscilloscope so if you have any doubt you can also in the comment and also subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching i'll see in the next video